in simple terms, uh, APIs are connectors of uh, building blocks um, that you need to set up a given solution. Building blocks could be uh, pieces of software or devices. In fact, uh, APIs uh, uh, is, are not a new concept. They've, they've been around for quite some time now, and they've been used in many different ecosystems and use cases uh, to beef up business models uh, and uh, businesses. Like, for example, we can, we can think of uh, Salesforce and Google as an example of successful usages of open APIs. APIs are, are so relevant uh, today that we can refer to the concept of uh, open APIs economy. And we could, to better understand this concept, we could break it down into three waves. Uh, so the first wave uh, is uh, the early 2000s, when individual organizations uh, used open APIs for internal, uh, internal purposes, uh, or with clients in a, in a bespoke agreement. The second wave uh, came in uh, mid-2000, uh, when effectively there was an industrialization of, uh, of those APIs. And we can think of companies like eBay and Amazon, for example, opening their APIs to the whole merchant base. And the third and final wave uh, came in the last decade, uh, where instead of having one single uh, entity, so one single uh, uh, organization opening their APIs, uh, there is an ecosystem development push to APIs. An example of this is, for instance, open banking. And, and the benefits of, uh, of such ecosystem development uh, of APIs are, are immense. So we, we can think really of uh, the ability of opening up the infrastructure and, and the whole market. And the consequences are that uh, new services can be built around, uh, around this market by either startups or existing players. Also, uh, there is uh, this open APIs give us the opportunity to break oligopolies, should there be uh, oligopolies in, the, in a given market, as well as developing new offerings uh, around uh, based on data. And that's exactly in this context, in this third wave of, uh, um, of uh, APIs uh, based on uh, development, based on ecosystem, uh, that we see the, the spore of uh, the creation of the OSI initiative. That is um, a partnership between uh, public sector, so governments, and private sector, so companies active in the identity market, uh, spanning the whole value chain of, of the identity market, as well as all uh, types of, uh, of companies from startup down to uh, uh, SMEs and, and corporate. And this ecosystem of public actors and private actors uh, together are developing a set of uh, open APIs as an open standard to bring interoperability in the, in the identity market. And what is interesting is that thanks to this interoperability and to some of these uh, APIs that are being developed, new services around identification or authentication uh, could be developed. The delivery of financial services is reliant on level of trust, which support the complexity of those services. So for example, uh, a low value deposit account uh, could be open through the creation of a basic uh, bank issued identity with a relatively low level of trust, such as for instance, biometric, but without proof of formal identity like address or credit checks. However, on the contrary, um, in order to deliver a more complex financial service, like for instance, uh, credit and insurance, uh, a higher level of trust is needed with the government issued identity being at the top of this trust pyramid. So this uh, tiered KYC or know your customer approach mean that this, as much as, as the level of trust is expanded, then more complex financial services can, could be delivered. And that's exactly in this context that we can see uh, the open standard APIs uh, approach or the development of open standard interfaces that could facilitate uh, the identity enrichment that we just mentioned by standardizing the exchanges between multiple parties, uh, like for instance, banks, uh, mobile operators, credit agencies, uh, insurers, as well as governments. 
And so, as we mentioned before, the creation of an ecosystem, an ecosystem push to development of open standard interfaces underpin uh, the, the tiered KYC approach that is needed today for the delivery of financial services.